Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite. I'm living near Panama City, Florida at the moment, hopefully not much longer. If you want to find out anything about me, go to MySpace or Facebook where I have accounts. I'm sorry I speak a little bit fast, but that's due to the fact that I have very little time on these uh, videos that I make for, uh, that are put on YouTube. There's a 10 minute limit, so I have little time. So I have a tendency to talk extremely fast and try to say as much as I can with whatever time I have left or with a short amount of time that I have. This here is a warning I'm going to give to all American women primarily, and I can extend this on to Canadian ladies, that plan to marry a Muslim man, a foreign Muslim man that is, that comes from a country like Iran or Saudi Arabia. You need to be aware that if you marry this man here in the United States or even over there, and obviously I would assume you're, you're going to have to become a Muslim if you're not already one. Well, if you do so, and there is a divorce, the odds are that he's going to seek to take your children, if, if both of you have any, of course, and take them back to his country of origin. Once he gets them there, even if he kidnaps them, kidnaps your children here in the United States, the courts over there are going to side with him. You need to read the Quran very carefully, and you need to read the laws of the nation from whichever he comes from, especially Iran and Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Syria, Lebanon. You need to read that. Read what their laws are, especially if they come if he comes from a nation where Sharia law is dominant, like Saudi Arabia and Iran. You have to remember that according to Sharia law and to the Quran, Women are not necessarily equal to men. Now, the Quran has kind of com has conflicting messages about the status of women. But these courts over there only look at a woman as half of what a man is. That's why if a woman is raped, she needs four, four male witnesses to come forward to testify on her behalf who, who claim they saw the rape. Because her testimony in a court of law is not of any value. It doesn't mean anything. Women cannot be trusted. Remember the Iranian clerics who claim that earthquakes are caused by women's immorality. That's how stupid and demonic these people are. But more, but not just some, but a lot of American women who have married Muslim men have had their children kidnapped right here in the United States, even though they have custody of them and taken back to places like Saudi Arabia, Syria, and Iran, and they can't get them back. And their children will grow up in those countries held as prisoners. If it's a, if they have a daughter, she's going to be a prisoner the rest of her life. Remember over there, they, they have arranged marriages. She can be forced to marry anybody her daddy tells her to. And she will be a prisoner in her own home for the rest of her life. And she the odds are she will never, ever leave uh, that country again. It's amazing how many Americans over there who were born here in the United States are being held against their will in Saudi Arabia and the media pays very little attention to it. Neither the Bush administration or this administration or any administration in the past has really dealt with this issue because we're afraid we might offend them because we buy oil from them. Well, we are under attack by the Islamists in many ways. And they are engaging by coming over here, marrying American women, having children with them, and then taking the kids back to their country in which they will never be allowed to leave again. Because they know if they let them come back over here even for a visit, uh, when they kidnap these kids, um, too bad. They, they just know that they, they would never get the kids back. So we are, our government is looking the other way when foreigners come into our country and kidnap Americans and take them back over there. It's no different than a parental kidnapping here. But what's worse is over there, their lives are in danger. Remember, women are not considered equal to men whatsoever. They're, they're only considered half of what a man is worth. I, I may eventually go on a campaign. I don't know if I can or not, but I may try. And I'm already working at, on it on Facebook and other places. And I may take a lot of heat for it. But I sincerely, sincerely believe there needs to be an awareness in all American women and women of the world that are not Muslim, who want to marry a Muslim man, you know, or even if they are Muslim, need to make sure that they need to be aware of this possibility. It's happening all the time. And again, the media pretty much ignores it. 
Hollywood pretty much ignores it. They've only done a movie or two about it. But I'm taking it up on myself, and I don't know how many people will see this video, maybe only a handful, but to those who see it, need to spread the word and make sure that if you run into anybody, any lady out there that's dating a Muslim man, especially a foreign Muslim man, that's what I'm primarily referring to here, make sure you warn them what's going to happen if they have kids together and there is a separation or divorce. In all likelihood, he's going to try to get those children back to his country of origin. And once they're there, that's it. It's over. The courts over there do not see a, uh, a woman as having any right to her children. The custody belongs to the man. That's part of their religion, especially if it's under Sharia law. And you need to read and understand what Sharia law is and where it's applied. And what Meaning what country applies it, like Saudi Arabia and Iran. This is extremely dangerous. And I'm just horrified at, at how little attention this uh, our country, our media, and our government is paying to this. Again, we are being infiltrated by Islamists who believe in this, who would like to indoctrinate our uh, children with this garbage. We are not Islamists here. We believe in democracy. It's, it's Islamists do not believe in this in our kind of democracy, at least not foreign uh, Islamists. So anyway, I just wanted to give this warning, and I hope as many people, I hope a whole lot of people out there see it, because it's uh, going to become more and more of a problem for we Americans as time goes on. Europe's already facing this in a very horrifying way, and it's going to get worse. So I'll say it again, American women, if you're an American woman, you like some Muslim guy, a foreign Muslim guy, you better think twice, you better really think things over before marrying this guy. Because as I've already stated, if you end up getting a divorce, he will try to take your children to his country of origin, even kidnapping them. And once he gets there, it's all over. You're, the odds are you're not going to ever see him again or get him back. You could probably go over there for a visit, as many American women have. But the kids are staying there. And your daughters are nothing are going to be nothing more than slaves for the rest of their lives. And they will never be allowed to leave that country if they can make sure, if they can do something to keep them there. And they pretty well do a good job of keeping women uh, prisoners over there. This is just unbelievable what's going on. So that's just my warning. And I hope all American women will think twice. Or meaning any American woman that seeks to marry a foreign Muslim man. I hope you think twice before you do it because you may come to regret it. Thank you for your time and have a good night.